Today, we are learning about an investigation into the Buffalo Diocese and Bishop Richard Malone conducted by a Catholic Cardinal. Timothy Dolan, the Cardinal of the Archdiocese of New York, is, quote, very aware of his responsibilities under a new Catholic law. And Steve Brown is here with this story for us. So how new by Catholic Church standards is this law? 2,000-year-old organization, yeah. a law that's actually months old. Pope Francis just announced this in May. It is intended to be a mechanism to hold Catholic clergy accountable, particularly when it comes to allegations of sexual abuse. And it appears that one of the very first tests of this law is to examine Buffalo's Bishop uh, Richard Malone and the Buffalo Diocese. Specific goals of the probe have not been released. The investigation, led by Cardinal Timothy Dolan, who was here in happier times in August of 2012, for Malone's installation as Buffalo Bishop. We are told by a spokesman that Dolan, during his investigation, has been in regular contact with Malone and the Vatican. As to when we might hear about the results of the probe, the spokesman says in the near future, but would not qualify further. This is on the heels of news yesterday that there is a no confidence letter circulating among area clergy urging Malone to step down. The bishop, as recently as last week, says he believes a majority of the priests and deacons back him. I think the ones who would like to see me move on are truly the minority. And I know that's not wishful thinking because other priests have told me that. The priest told me just the other day, most of us are with you, Bishop. Now, Father Robert Zilliox, who's spearheading the petition, has not said when it may be delivered to Bishop Malone and or released to the public. Now, Kate, back to this investigation by Cardinal Dolan. We're in totally uncharted territory. It is believed that these are the first two cases are here in New York State, the Diocese of Albany, the Diocese of Buffalo, and Dolan leading those two investigations. So I think they're still feeling this out. And when you talk about how they approach it, is it laid out, this is how this should go, this investigation, or is it sort of left up to his discretion? I think it's largely consultive in that he consults with various sides and then he's going to be issuing an opinion. We have no reason to believe that this changes the Pope's ultimate authority as to who is bishop and who is fired as a bishop. So we think this is more of a consultative sort of process by which the cardinal, who is closer, does a very intensive investigation over the course of 90 days and then issues some sort of report. All right, more to come, Steve. Thank you for the update.